Wow, that is not your everyday wreck. I hope those clowns don't get me in trouble. What's that about? That is not the Coast Guard, so we're not under arrest. How should we handle this? Uh, we are not doing anything. I'm the captain, so you be quiet and let me handle it. You got that? You gotta keep back, we've got divers in the water! Hey, we got damage here, you see this? Look at our boat! We can take care of this, man, it's not a problem. What do you think, like, uh, 10 bucks cover it? Oh, whoops, my bad, let's make it 20. Well, shoot, you, you think it's more like 30? I can do 30. All right, you guys drive a hard bargain, but I'm with you. Here, let's just throw in the whole pot. Conrad said one of the pictures showed an opening. Conrad, really? Really. On the rear turret. Huh. Good on you, Connie. The turret. We can get in through there. dangerous uh ladies first <laughs> can i just take a second to say holy shit alex we did it <laughs> i mean can you believe it Julia, leave it. You'd have to take your gear off to get in there. Not worth it. That pipe's pretty tight. What if you get stuck without your rebreather? No, bad idea. Maybe it is kind of dangerous. Bullet holes, all down the fuselage. Brad's gonna flip when he sees this. Check it out. They reconfigured the bomb rack to hold lifeboats. Interesting. One of the rescue boats is missing. Think they were using it? 
Let's see what else we can find. Good God. things. They knew they were goners. Uh, you hear that? Let's check it out. Want to go first? Co-pilot. Gotta be. Plane crash not high on my list of ways to perish. Easy now. This stuff's been down here a long time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. something. Shark, not interested in us. Let's go. Hold on. Uh, oh, okay. I thought this was the right time, but then didn't know if it was the right time. But I guess no time's the right time. I, I, I don't I guess. Oh. I know you can't tell because we're underwater, but I'm on my knees right now. Uh huh. Julia, will you marry me? I... Oh, crap. I, Alex, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I mean, I, I, I just... I mean, we almost just died. Julia, I'm serious. Alex, wow. What a goddamn story. How's it end? Yes! Yes, I'll marry the shit out of you! <laughs> All right, handsome hero. 
You want to get on with our escape from the, uh, crumbling death trap? Fliss, this is Julia. We're coming back up. Over. Hey, where's that other boat come from? Wait, Julia, we gotta decompress here. Whoa! Damn! What the fuck? We gotta get up there. Wait, we have to decompress. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, my brother's up there. Julia, this is crazy. You just gotta wait a few seconds. <sighs> fuck it, I'm going. Hey, JJ, don't worry about it. There was a little, uh, mishap with the barbecue. Jesus, looked like the whole boat was lit up. So, why are you paying the ocean? A fishing boat came by and got damaged on the dive line. Oh, that's what happened. Yeah. They were being a little surly about it, so Conrad made it rain and they pissed off. Whatever. Who cares, right? What I want to know is, what'd you guys find? Well, we found the plane, and it is huge, full of cool stuff. Oh my god, you guys, can you all just shut up for like one second? <laughs> Holy shit! Dude, bro, congrats! Nicely done. Come up and let's celebrate. You're getting to know these intrepid adventurers then. Alex and his little brother Brad, trying to swim with the big fish. Both seem out of their depth. And Julia, the love of Alex's life, and he the love of hers. What about Conrad, a bold fellow, you might say? Or maybe you'd say arrogant. And then there's Captain Fliss, strong, Forthright, stubborn. Do I detect a spark between her and Conrad? Let me reassure you, you help them to make some decisions they'll value later on. And some I think they may regret. So, we're like 10 seconds out of the jaws of certain death. Well, certain, I mean, that's relative. And this meatball... Meatball? This meatball pulls a ring out of God knows where. Yeah, where did you hide the ring? A lady never tells. Well, needless to say, this lady was impressed. <laughs> well played there, man, no? Wasn't Comrade gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. So, how does it feel to soon be known as the Mrs. Julia Smith? Honestly, I wasn't sure how it would feel. But now that I hear it, it does have a nice ring. So, I guess we should talk about wedding plans, eventually. I'm sure my dad will want to spare no expense. Great. What? If your dad pulls out all the stops and we have the wedding of the century, people are going to think I married you for your money. No, oh, I was hoping they'd think you married me for my hot bot. Julia. Hey, money thing's not a big deal. Really, 
I'm sorry that's on your mind. The second you said yes, I could see our whole future rolling out ahead of us. I love you, Alex. Where did everyone go? There was much celebration to be had. I'll go find them. You just relax. Hey, you seen my brother? Or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. All right, now that everybody's here, let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. So, how's it feel to be a man post-proposal? Relieving, honestly. Been carrying that around for a while. Why'd you do it on the dime? I wanted it to be memorable. It's not that memorable. I have to hand it to you. Bopping the question on the bottom of the ocean like that is pretty romantic. I thought you were the settling type. I'm proud of you, bro. I couldn't have done it without such a good bro, bro. Bro. Wait, what do you mean? You told me to follow my heart. Uh, one, I'm not that sappy. And two, I was talking about med school. Still, we're over the top, bro. So, we going again tomorrow? So awesome. I'm gonna go find Julia. Hey, almost time for barbecuing. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Hey, well there, sailor. Um, excuse me? Careful. If you did decompress too fast, then you should go easy on the beer. Uh, Alex, I'm fine. I think if I got the bends, I would know by now. Not always. Sometimes the bends can be super delayed. It could be hours or a day or two. The bends? Yeah, it's uh, when you come up from a dive too fast. Oh, oh, oh yeah, uh, uh, decompression sickness. <laughs> Nerd. Little nitrogen bubbles that get stuck in your bloodstream. Hurts like a bitch. It's really serious. Divers get sick and die from decompression sickness every year. And that is why the good Dr. Conrad says drink them if you got them, because either you're fine or you're going to want a little something to ease the pain. Julia, I'm telling you not to drink any alcohol right now. Oh, come on. Telling you? Take orders from this guy? Just drink a beer. Beer o'clock. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Who wants to find some sunken treasure? So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? 
This plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless, all of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Oh, come on. We've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey. They were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Brad, you got a fun ghost story, right? Y yeah, I heard a story. It happened right around here, too. Let's hear it. We could all use a good show. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. OK, here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait, true story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time, smooth. He of the one-track mind. The woman answers, I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, splayed out on the floor, is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an ax. Always an ax. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts cliches and all, chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. So gross. Okay, so who did it? So the woman, she's still hysterical, says her husband did it. And he's still here, in the closet. Ha, the husband, eh? So is this a warning to all future brides? Hey, no backseats. You're locked in. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer, closer. And he sees it's his own face. And then its eyes bulge out and screams. <laughs> So ah, gross. Hey, oh, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. Oh, come on. That wasn't scary. Heavy on the cheese there, corn dog. Okay, you've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather hitting our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required one more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, ma'am. <laughs> I'm into this website. 10-4, <laughs> good buddy. And I'm out.
Me worse. The bad news is these are kind of maybe the fishermen I pissed off earlier. Oh, god damn it, Conrad. Great, just great. And the good news? Uh, I recognize them. How was that good news? I thought you were gonna ask the good news first. You're such an idiot, Jesus. Hey. Alex, what are they gonna do to us? I don't even wanna know. I wanna get out of here. I'm in a lot of danger. Back for you later. Conrad! Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady.
Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Dick. Shut the fuck up. I don't think they're gonna hit her. They haven't hit Fliss. Fliss sure seems to be getting buddy-buddy with him. Uh, did you see my brother? No, I didn't. I hope he's all right. All right. Turn around. Don't let them see your hands. Once we get Julia back, maybe we could take them by surprise. Okay, they're coming. see what they want to do with us. got a gun. Well, at least one of us can get on their boat. Get some help. What do you think? Seven seconds. I can get out through the window. We gotta break these off first. Too loud. They'll hear it. But we're gonna break them during the thunder. <sighs> Good call. I'll, um... Here, I'll climb out this window, take a look around. Just scope it out. You guys distract them, so they don't see me sneaking. Okay, let's do it. Mets mon poing dans la gueule. Olsen, come here. We 
which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian goo? Best shot. We could have gotten the boat back and you blew it. Yeah, I get it. All right, shut the fuck up! There is no harm in just talking. You want to talk? Keep the volume down. I'm just gonna say it. Fliss has got to be in on this. She and these guys, they travel in the same waters. She's the captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole. You're all in this together. This was a trap, and you set us up. Yeah, asshole. Put a cork in it. Sit still, all of you. You, come with me. Hey, leave her alone. <sighs> Find out how long the storm is gonna last. Will you try anything, anything fishy, and there'll be consequences. Milan requesting weather update. Over. Yeah, we read you. Everything okay? Over. Listen to me. We have been kidnapped. I repeat, SOS, we are 20 miles north of... Ah! That was a brilliant idea. Motherfuckers won't get away with this. The police is gonna hunt you down. Dream on. Ocean's a big place. Easy to get lost. hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big boy. He'll be okay. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now.
everyone's still alive. Things could have been quite different. Kind-hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? <laughs> okay then, we will turn to the Bard for inspiration. The Merchant of Venice, Act 2, Scene 7. The Prince of Morocco pulls a scroll from the eye of a skull and reads... All that glisters is not gold. Often have you heard that told. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Probably shouldn't have said that. La porte! La porte! Vite! La porte! wrong with me. Keep moving! 